Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Stevie from the Stamina to make it two nights in a row here on ESPN FC. Not even out of breath yet. No. Ah. <laughs> yet. Not even out of yeah. breath yet. We've got Frank LeBuff with us and Ale Moreno as well. Uh, Frank, would you play in a Legends game now? Have you? When was the last one you played in? The last game that I played, what, football? Um, yeah, like a Legends game. It w yeah, it was in se last September we played Chelsea against uh, Bayern Munich. Um, and I only played like six or seven minutes at the end of the game <laughs> because I, I, had a, I had a groin problem. But uh, that was more than enough to enjoy. And um, I have to play June 8th uh, with uh, French, uh, French legends to, uh, to, for the, for the D-Day, in fact, the June, uh, June 6th, but we only played the, the 8th. Uh, and in Normandy, we're going to play uh, for for Le Bleu, for the you know the like the, for you the in England the uh, uh, the pop, the poppy. Oh, Who are you, you playing, Frank? Who's the game against? Uh, the former the former Caen, uh, legends. Okay, very nice. I, I, I have voilà. a legends game on, on June first, uh -huh. but I can't go because it's a Champions League final. You see. How long do you think you would last if you could go? Oh, what a good excuse. What a good excuse. Uh, no, well, I can... Right. can, I can well, yeah, but remember when you played with your son and his friends? Well, yeah, no, but I can, I can get through it. It's the post-match that is difficult. I can get through the game. It's just... Yeah, the Shelley Temples are a problem. <laughs> what happens in the post-match is a problem because I can, I can barely move. Yeah, in case you didn't know, uh, Ali Moreno is the cleanest living of all of our pundits. <laughs> and there Why can be no distance? arguments about oh, that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, first question. But, by the way, the, the bar is very low. <laughs> <laughs> to all, given how kind the draw has been to PSG and Barca, do you think... I'll split this in two here, then. A, if Barca win the Champions League, Ale, Xavi could stay. Well, he said he said he was leaving. So I, I imagine that when you make a decision like that is because you, you have other reasons beyond the fact that the team is not playing well, beyond that you haven't met the objective, that there is it's a comprehensive decision. At least I would imagine that it would be an all-inclusive decision, that it isn't just about some of the things that are not happening on the field. It, it may mean as well that he's not very happy with his situation at the club or or the coverage that he's given or the pressure that he's given by the media and how he's been treated by the media maybe that's what he's talking about i if you make a decision to announce that you're leaving at the end of the year midway through the year you're saying you've had enough basically those winning champion leagues change that perhaps but i it, I would assume that then makes your argument at the be, at the middle in the middle of the year to make that decision uh very weak. You made that decision, then you stick with your decision. All right. Um, Frank, if PSG win the Champions League, Mbappe might stay. No, it will Not sure, sure, for sure, 100%, <laughs> like Ali said, it will go because he would have achieved something, what he's looking for, and therefore it will go for another challenge. So if Paris Saint-Germain wins the Champions League, I can tell you, I can sign it, he's going to live. That's, that's the other thing. If you're Xavi and you win Champions League, you go, ha ha! Let's see. I was right all along and now you, you, you take care of this yeah. mess. It's not my problem anymore. Bike off into the sunset. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Ale, what should Barca's lineup and tactics look like against PSG? I fear Xavi tries the same high line that he used against Madrid in the Supercoppa and gets torched by Mbappe and Dembele. And we address this in the show. If he does that and they don't put pressure on the ball, then you don't have to worry about Xavi sticking around if they win Champions League because they're not going to get past PSG. They cannot play... If you want to play a high line against PSG, you are inviting Kylian Mbappe and Ousmane Dembele to take advantage of that space and to run in behind. But it must have been about three years ago when Barcelona were playing against PSG in Champions League. And there's an image of Gerard Piquet chasing Kylian Mbappe and just like hanging on to the jersey of Kylian Mbappe, <laughs> right? They they haven't gotten any better in that sort of in that position in terms of being able to keep up with that sort of speed. Kylian Mbappe's speed is is world class, and you play a high line, you leave that space. All PSG has to do is just clip it over the top, and it's game over. You don't want that if you're Barcelona. You cannot play the high line. If you do, then it's game set match. You know, there's one thing that I've seen over the last few years that. I cannot get my head round. 
And that is teams playing a high line without any pressure on the ball. Yep. Because that's the key. That's important. You can't, you yeah. can't play a high line if there's nobody pressing the ball. And there's so many teams do it. And I can't get my head around why they continue to do it. It's rule number one. Unless somebody has got pressure on the ball, you cannot hold a line. But teams, including Liverpool, particularly, particularly last year, were continuing to do it without pressure on the ball. And considering they've got a coach for every single possible thing you can think of these days, you would have thought somebody would, would have noticed and started talking to the team about it. But there's just so many teams that do it now without any pressure. It is absolute madness. And so many coaches will talk about, well, we, we want the aggressive mindset. We want to be on the front foot and we want to go and press higher up the field. Yeah, that, that, that's great, but you're not playing by yourself, right? You're playing against another team that has weapons. And in the case of PSG, who is their main weapon? Kylian Mbappe. And what is one of his main attributes? His speed. So why? Why invite the possibility <laughs> of PSG taking advantage of what their best player does best and better than everybody else in the world? Why, why would you do that? doesn't make any sense. So if, if, indeed, if indeed you decide that you're going to play a high line, Talk about pressure on the ball. You got to get numbers around the ball all the time. And Barcelona haven't been able to do that all season. And so why would that change against PSG? You got you to gotta drop 10, 15 meters, 10, 15 yards and give yourself some space. Uh, next question, Stevie. I know you don't think highly of the Europa League. I wonder what made them think that. But would a Liverpool against Leverkusen final be the perfect interview for Alonso to be the next manager for Liverpool? No, I don't, I don't think one game is going to decide whether they want Alonso or not. It's it's kind of Liverpool or anybody else that's looking at Alonso or any other manager, I would assume, is looking at the, the body of work. And and not just results, but the way they play, the way they go about things, how they set the team up. I, I would assume that would be the way to go if you wanted Alonso, not just what he does in this one game. Certainly if he wins it, it will help, but no, it's not. It's not going to be the decider whether they want Alonso or not. What happens in that game? So it links to the next question. Stevie, start bench or drop? Liverpool winning the Premier League only. Liverpool winning the FA Cup and Europa League only. Or Liverpool not winning anything but Klopp signs an extension. I think the last one's mute because that's just not happening. So you're dropping that. Yeah, forget that. Winning the league. I would sacrifice the FA Cup in Europa for winning the Premier League every day of the week and twice on Sunday. So it's the order that you see on the screen? Yeah. Yep. OK. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should ask Stevie this one, so I'm going to ask you, Frank. Mm -hmm. Why doesn't Simeone get more credit? <laughs> yes, he's highly paid, but he doesn't have the resources of Real or Barca. Yet he's put a Europa-level squad consistently through the Champions League. Who cares if he plays boring football? Isn't winning the deodorant of football? Ah, um, I would be sure to, to, to give some time to Stevie <laughs> to finish <laughs> Simeone, but I, 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 really think, I really think that uh, you have to give some credit. I mean, I, when I saw the game against Inter Milan, yes, because of the, that power mistakes, uh, Griezmann was able to equalize very quickly. But it's part of what you are expecting. It's, uh, I like the, the, the mentality of the squad. I like what Simeone brings because he, he brings furry. He brings like crazy, craziness inside the game. Um, uh, we see some players like Savage being dirty. It's the old football. It's what I like about. Yeah, it is not pretty. Yeah, it is not offensive maybe. Even if it was, more, if it's more offensive than before, but I, I like the spirit because it's the old spirit that I used to see in many teams in uh, in my time. So, uh, yeah, I will give a little bit more credit to Simeone. He's not the best football, but it's an interesting one. I am not a hundred percent sure on this, right? Right. Oh, here we go. But I'm, I am speculation. Pretty, I am not far off, right? But Simeone. In the nine years that Klopp's been there, Simeone spent the same amount of money at Atletico Madrid. And I've always told you, it's nothing to do with Atletico Madrid, the club. 
It's to do with the way they play the game. So if you're telling me that, that the, they don't have the resources, well, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not having that. Because the way they play the game, I am telling you, I believe that these, he has spent more money than Klopp has spent at Liverpool. But what and, look it, how, well, and look how they play the game. But he, the, he broke up the duopoly for certain parts of that time. Oh, oh, oh. oh come on, Stevie, you've got to give me <laughs> that. No, 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 listen. Hold on a second. We sit here and everybody sits and talks about Man City about the money they've spent, right? right? And Simeone, nobody ever says a word. All we get is, oh, he doesn't have the resources. I'm telling you, I, I hope one of the producers can get on Google and tell me. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure... Get on that interweb. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that he spent just as much as, uh, as Klopp has at Liverpool. Right. And look at the way they play the game. And by the way, they won the Premier League. And by the yeah, way, and, they've won and the by league the way, and they knocked Man City off the pair. Face under him. <laughs> hey, by the way, I certainly hope that our research department they well, get their they numbers. They, they get their numbers somewhere else other than just Google. It just, anno it just annoys me. It annoys me the way they play the game. That's what annoys me. I I've got nothing against the, the club. I, the fact that they spent the money they have and the way they play the game. I'm sorry. That, that sh but that it's not like they haven't won anything, Stevie. They've won trophies under him in that time. Trophies that Real Madrid and Barcelona would have usually been winning every time. Made it to Champions League final. Yeah, Champions listening? League final twice. You're not listening. Copa <laughs> del Rey. Are you going to listen? La Liga. Are you going to listen to I'm me? I'm listening to you. Look at the way they play the game. Right. But, right. But so that's is that you style. okay with that? That's his style. That's what he's, that's what he's had success with. <laughs> hey. Now, see, what, what people may not realise... Honestly, honestly. <laughs> hey, people may not realise, as Frank was answering that question, and he was on camera, Stevie was over here going... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Be done, Frank. I'm sorry. Be done, Frank. I'm, I, I, I'm sorry. I accept. I, I accept. Felt, I felt that I had to be short. <laughs> I accept that you have to do what you have to do to win a game of football. And if it means you put people behind the ball and you kick people and you punch them and you knock them over and you moan and you complain, then that's fine. But don't tell me you've spent half a billion dollars, pounds, <laughs> potatoes or whatever it is. Euros. Whatever it is, We're looking for euros. It's it's euros. It's potatoes. Pesos. Don't pesos. tell me you... <laughs> oh, I know. Potatoes is short for pesos, Frank. <laughs> so don't tell me you spend half a billion and then you're going to do that. That's my problem. Yeah, that is my don't spend problem. all that money and win silverware. That's my disgusting. problem. All right. Um, <laughs> Frank, what do you think of Real Madrid's decision to not let go of their French players, Chouameni and Camavinga, possibly Kylian too, for the Olympics? That's a very good idea. Uh, football doesn't belong for, belong for me um, to the Olympics. I mean, I, I believe that Olympics, and I, when I watch Olympics, I don't want to see football, tennis, or basketball. I know it's about money, but it's not the image of, Olymp uh, of the Olympics for me. Uh, it's a star system, and the Olympics is everything but a star system. So I'm happy that players don't take the, uh, the first page of the others, of the people who prepare for four years, to become maybe unique in uh, in one race or one jump or whatever it can be. I don't want to see football players, so I don't want to see Mbappe, Chouamini or Kamavinga with the national team. I don't care. Voila. Oh, I, I tell you, Frank hates the dream team is what I heard there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard there. <laughs> no. All right, Stevie, have you called down from your Simeone? Hi. All right. <laughs> Are you ready? When you managed, <laughs> when you managed, <laughs> How involved were you in making sure your assistant coaches were taken care of and received fair contracts from the club, or were assistant coaches handled independently? Yeah, it was all handled independently. Yeah. Yeah. Selfish. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, let me just put it this way. Don't worry about me, Jack, I'm fine. <laughs> let, me, let me just put it this way. In, including myself, there was nobody at the Revs overpaid. I'll just put it that way. All right. So, yeah, no, they, they, yeah, they had to handle it themselves. So, so, so basically, your approach was as, look, the fact that you're here means that I'm giving you my vote of confidence, but to go into that office and ask for a new contract, that's on you. 
not quite as bluntly as that. Obviously, I would help in any way I could, but there wasn't an awful lot I could do. I wasn't. I didn't, I didn't, carry, the drink at I didn't carry an awful lot of weight. Yeah. Aww. As far as that was concerned. Is it easier that way anyway to not have to deal with that on top of everything else? Well, not really. No, it would. I, I, it would be great to be to have the influence that you could get some of your staff more money. I just didn't have that influence. I mean, that would be fantastic to be in that yeah. position. But All right. Didn't have it. Frank, which actor, uh, alive or dead actor or actress, would you dream of sharing the stage with? Oh, oh I know the answer to this. Wow. Um, uh, Sean Connery, for sure. Um, fantastic actor. Oh. And they um, would do a twin movie. I know. The <laughs> Spider Man meme. <laughs> when yeah. I see one another. Thank you. Well, that, that's a, I, I take it. I, I take it. Ali, I take it. Thank you very yeah. much. Um, Frank, uh, Frank, I've got a question uh, for you. Uh, yeah, tell me. Do you remember what Sean Connery's favourite food was? Do you remember? Favorite uh, what? Food. Oh yes. Uh, oh. You say it, but you say it in a better way. You say it in a better way. Come on, say it. <laughs> I love when you say it. Um, it's uh, goulash. What is, what is, oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, goulash. Goulash. <laughs> exactly. Goulash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would oh, have loved to play with. Uh, uh, I would have loved to play with Bruce Willis and also uh, Samuel Jackson. I love Samuel Jackson. Frank, give us a leading lady. Oh, Jodie Foster. I met her. She was at the French Lycée in Los Angeles. She's a wonderful actress for sure. Uh, There's so many movies that I loved about her and the way she exposed herself. I mean, that, that was great. And uh, uh, yes, um, Julia Roberts as well. I love her smile. I love the way she, she plays. I would have loved to to be alongside her, yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, the last point I would like to make has just come through from our stats team. Okay. Here come we on. Go. Come on. Come on. I can't drop my mic because I'll get into trouble. Liverpool have a net spend of 420 million euros since Klopp joined. Right. Athleti have a net spend of 58 million euros <laughs> since that time. <laughs> Your numbers were a little off, Steve. I, well, well, that's because... I, see, that's, see, here's the problem, right? When you go with stats, <laughs> we always tell you that you can manipulate stats. And you, what you've done is you've gone for the net, right? They, this is the what stats you've, Hold on. Let me explain it. What you've done is you've gone for the net. What I want is how much they've actually spent on players. But we went to Google. You said go to Google. We went to Google. <laughs> hey, there's a lot of things on Google. Oh, we went to our right. stats team. We went to our in-house stats team. Oh, OK. Oh, right. this is official. Uh, okay. official. I want the yeah. other one. You, you may have I me want, wrong, Steve. I, want, I, want, I don't want the net. I want how much they've actually something spent. Something tells me. Players in. Yeah, we don't have time for it, but something tells me you're not on the in-house channel where you can ask that very quickly. I'm going to sign you up for it. I know you're not so technologically advanced. <laughs> and you can ask questions like this so that you can prove your point next Well, you can do it quickly, then why don't you do it? If, no, I'm not gonna, is that a mountain in potatoes or are we back to <laughs> yeah. Europe? All right, uh, <laughs> potatoes. Okay, potato, potato. That's I'm the end very of sorry, TV. Yeah. You have to apologise to Simeone, please, yeah. quickly, you before really the should. end of the show. Not a, where are you? Not a chance. <laughs> where, where, where are you looking? Where are you looking? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It would be this one right here, Steve. This one right here with the light. The if, only, with the light. if only Paul was here to no. help me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, no. Yes, Paul. Yeah, Nick, Paul's... It's the one with the light, Steve. Red light. There you go. Diego, not a chance. Goulash. <laughs> Goulash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll take the. I'll take oh, here the, we go. I might take him out for a goulash. Goulash. <laughs> goulash. Goulash. Okay, I, I, a celebrity <laughs> boxing fight between Stevie and Simeone. That's oh, what, what I would I like. Might not be able to run, but see these. It doesn't uh, want anything to do with. You just do that. <laughs> just do that for ten minutes. He'll be knackered, and then I'll <laughs> knock him out. Oh, that's all we've got time for. We've got to go. We'll see you next time on ESPN FC. <laughs> <laughs>